The coup of 30 Prairial Year 7, coup d'état du 30 Prairial and 7, also known as the Revenge of the Councils, Revanche des Conseils, was a bloodless coup in France that occurred on the 18th of June 1799. 30 Prairial Year 7 by the French Republican calendar. It left Emmanuel Joseph Sillas as the dominant figure of the French government, and prefigured the coup of 18 Brumaire that brought Napoleon Bonaparte to power. <inaudible> Prelude The March to April 1799 elections of 315 new deputies into the two councils had produced a new neo Jacobin majority in these two bodies, particularly in the lower house. The Council of 500 the lower house in the legislature under the French Directory became unhappy with the director's conduct of the War of the Second Coalition, and in particular with their recall of General Jean Etienne Championnet, a former Jacobin. The Council of Ancients and Council of 500 the two legislative branches under the French Directory voted an act declaring that the election of director Jean-Baptiste Trailhard had been illegal, and on 29 Prairial, 17 June had replaced him with Louis Goyer, erstwhile Jacobin deputy and minister during the French Convention. Q But the councils were not satisfied with one removal. The new anti-Jacobin director Emmanuel Joseph C. is shared, in some degree, the council's sentiments and, by holding this view, it likely helped him into his new appointment to office in May 1799. He was glad to see his colleagues removed, and was perfectly willing to work with Jacobin generals to achieve his ends. In the Council of 500, the deputy Antoine, Comte Boulet de la Meurthe, generally seen as a moderate, demanded the resignation or removal of directors Louis-Marie de la Rivelière Lepo and Philippe Antoine Merlin de Douai. In this he was soon joined not only by his own council but by the Council of Ancients, and by directors Paul Barris, a directory veteran since 1795 who was popularly known for his cunning, a trait which likely ensured that he was not to be yet another director who should have been removed, and by the newly appointed Sillas. When Rivelière de Lepo and Merlin de Douai resisted, General Barthélemy Catherine Joubert, recently placed in command of the 17th Military Division Paris, organized some troop movements of soldiers in Paris. By the evening of June 18, Rivelière Lepo and Merlin had both tendered their resignations. Although nothing in this sequence of events formally violated the French Constitution of 1795, it is generally considered a coup. 